Hi guys, welcome to this video about the question if you can replace um, the L in uh, automatic shifting from Ford Focus SE 2018 into an S which is sports mode so the L is just low gear means uh, yeah it's the first gear basically and S is sports gear. So what happened actually, at least in the 2018 Ford Focus SE, uh, they have replaced, I mean, maybe also 2017, 2019, I don't know, we have to, 2018, and they have replaced the sports, like the S, what you see here at the very bottom of the video, uh, they have replaced the S with an L, which is just the uh, first gear. And uh, yeah, you always get stuck there. You risk that it uh, you damage the engine whatsoever. S is much better. I don't know why they replaced that. It's a little bit of pain, but you can um, replace that. I mean, you can overwrite that with software. And this is what you have to buy and to do. I'm not going to explain everything in detail. We have already done it and it worked, but I'm just going to show you what you need. So there are maybe better instructions for that. I don't know, but I'm just, I just want to let you know what you have to do roughly and what you have to buy. So here we have the thing. Uh, that's the OHPELM config for scan ODB2 USB adapter. Um, it's only about $30 on Amazon. I'll put down the link into the description so you know what you buy. That's the only piece of hardware which you need. But you also need some kind of software. Here we have the software. That's the force can download. Um, yeah, you need some kind of um, thing. Android, iOS, or the best would be if you can use the Windows uh, and then connect it to your uh, ODB uh, thing, which uh, is here. Yeah, you can with the software you can control this. You plug in with the USB and then you connect it with the ODB reader of on your car. Here we have the software. We have been using the Forescan 2.3.22, the beta for Windows. Here you can see again 2018 Ford Focus SE. It definitely worked for this one. Yeah, here you can see how it looks about. Maybe it works for other types, I don't know, but we have done this for this one. So the best is if you have a laptop where you can download the software, install it and bring to your car together with the ODB uh, device. And yeah, here are a few tips for doing the whole update. It's not super easy. Um, plan ahead. Take uh, yeah reserve quite some time. We have been doing the whole thing in about I would say fifteen minutes, but I would plan maybe with thirty minutes to read everything carefully and not to rush. This is really important. And before you do everything, I would let your car run for maybe. 15 minutes or so and let the battery charge fully that's really important when we started the whole process this uh, software here was uh, saying yeah that the battery level is too low and I mean it's almost a new car and yeah of course uh, yeah if you have still warranty on your car you have to be careful what you do I mean you could with such an update you could probably damage the software uh, yeah, and then damage the car so you in worst case maybe you are not able to drive anymore I have no idea 
Luckily, everything went well with our update, but you have to be really, really careful if you have still, if you are still on warranty. I don't know how it it works. Uh, worst case, if they if there is something on the long term, something is damaged on your car, and then they found uh, find out that you have updated the software. I don't know how it works, but anyway, so we just did it. Uh, here yeah the software of course you have to um yeah i mean when you have run your car for a while then uh, batteries should be charged and then you turn it off and put it just to the on location yeah during the whole procedure when you work with this software and the odb thing never never start your engine just do what they say and when they say put it in on position just put it in on position but do not start the engine the on position is not the ignition okay there's a huge difference don't put it in ignition when they say on just make on okay so here we have the log what we did i'm showing you a few things First, when you connect it, you have it in the on position. Uh, you connect the ODB to your car and then uh, also connect it with the USB to, this, to the PC. Uh, start your software here. And the thing is, yeah, it's here somewhere. I hope you can see that. It's a little bit difficult on the camera. Yeah, down here there's a connection thing to start that's the first thing you hit here that's to connect and it will ask you what to do on your ODB module uh, there there is a switch it has two positions and it all the software will, will always tell you in what position you have to put this switch so read it carefully you have to use the switch about three or four maybe five times can't remember anymore so first thing here and then it will tell you what you have to do where to leave the um, like the key and which position to use and so on and so on make also sure you have enough battery here on the uh, yeah phone or windows laptop or whatever you use that's also very important because yeah and you should uh, prevent from standby hibernate whatsoever or move your cursor a little bit around during the time when it's doing the upgrade because when it goes into sleep during the up update that's not good it could uh, ruin this software of course um, yeah first make sure you make a backup I think I cannot show the thing here because I'm not connected anymore Yeah, that's the configuration module. Yeah, I think I cannot show you anymore uh, where I have been. So there is some kind of good instructions. I'm trying to find it. Uh, if I find it, I will put down it into the description. So you need that. Without these in detailed instructions, which you find in a forum, it's impossible to do that. You have to really know more or less step by step but even with this step-by-step -step thing, it's really important. So I would really uh, recommend that you use this step-by-step -step thing, which you find in the forum, plus you listen what you have to do here. So there was something in the, I think, configuration mode, but I, I, I cannot uh, do it here again because it's closed, I'm disconnected anyway. What you need, you need to have this extended license. You see the thing here, get free extended license, because when you start the software on the PC, it will tell you, okay, I mean, you can read the information, but you cannot do anything with this thing. Uh, you cannot modify the car you need this extended license here so before you go to the car of course do the thing you have to make an uh, 
like uh, open an account and then you get the free extended license so you don't have to pay if you don't if you just use it for a one time thing so here we can see still some things configuration and programming that's the thing here on this side this is what you need here you see you have different modules here the central information uh, of course you need the module you have to select the module then and i think start but here's the configuration and programming and you see what happened hope you can see that it says low battery voltage please change the battery and try uh, charge the battery and try again this is what we did i mean we stopped everything we let the car run for a little bit and then tried again but never really put the car in, in, in ignition when you do something with this software so i'm trying to show you maybe the whole uh, the whole uh, log so you can see maybe what happened so you can see i hope you can read that yeah that's the thing which you have to start the central configuration in brackets main that's the thing which you have to start and yeah so then I think we hit load and we loaded everything into the storage and what you have to or I think I can't remember exactly sorry uh, maybe you have to uh yeah anyway what what's really important read here here down here always read this information and when it's still doing something then wait it's really slow it's super slow do not do anything as long as it does say something here pending like usually it's green and here says something and then a few points and so as long as it's doing something just let it do be patient do nothing else okay that's important and then you are uh, you have a menu where you can save the settings or backup then use that save it or and, and back back up the old version so you have an old version that's really really important before you do uh, anything and the in the settings i think that was here uh, but unfortunately it's not here anymore it's the the gear the gear change is the lowest option but it it will explain you in the um in the block entry so anyway we go down here and you can see what it did Re yeah it, it always reads and loads blocks it needs a little bit of time and anyway yeah after you have changed the setting here the the thing with the gear you have to start it here hold on a second do you see this play play button if you don't know what to do how to write this thing i think it was here and at the end you have to hit write yeah unfortunately i don't know everything i told you you have to read the blog just when you don't know any uh, anything or you don't know what to do uh, and nothing happens you either hit play or then you hit write write means you will write the change into the software okay and at the end what's also important that you stop the whole thing after you have updated everything you stop it here with this thing you hope you can see that and you have to disconnect it here the first thing what you do with this module is to connect the last thing with this program what you do while connected with you with the ODB is this to rec uh, disconnect so you can't uh, yeah, I mean after that you can unplug the cable but the most important thing is to get this block entry and so you know exactly what to do this is not a full instructions this is just additional helpful information because the block entry is not 100% it doesn't show you everything 
So especially it doesn't say that you have to charge, you doesn't say that you have to run this thing. If yeah, to run this module, that you have to write, that you have to save it, those things. Be really careful about the whole thing. So I mean, yeah, you can really destroy things. I don't know if there's a backup if you destroy the the software. But the really good good thing is at the end we have been managing to replace the L with the S. I mean, you can't see it. So of course you can't see this here. There will be always an S, but on your dashboard, uh, yeah, of course you can't see that in the in the display in the dashboard. You will see then an S instead of the L. And whenever you use the S here, uh, the L here, then it will be the S on the display, and it will automatically shift. It won't be stuck in the first gear it will shift into next gear just a little bit um yeah like the uh, rpms will turn higher and it will have faster acceleration so yeah that's it for now oh yeah here we are that's the thing here uh if you are stuck on a screen like this and you think yeah now it should do something and it says 0% and it does nothing so that's the idea to hit this button and then it will start otherwise you will be stuck for hours so yeah that's it for now unfortunately I don't have the full thing get the full instructions in the blog entry if I find it I will put it down into the description so apart from that I still hope I was able to help you a little bit with that I just wanted to tell you it works. The only cost is $29 and you have to download software and you need the extended license but for one time usage it's free. So it definitely works if you do everything right. This is this was the purpose of this video, not a detailed instruction, but I still uh, hope I was able to help you a little bit with that. If you have any questions or comments, just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time